So I guess I guess I won't find out about this until I'm editing this video, but I've decided to wear like a, a green-ish shirt in front of a green screen. I just noticed that by looking at my own camera view. Um, if I'm just a floating head in this video, I guess you now know why that is. Regardless, today we're gonna continue onwards with my playthrough of Warcraft 3 Reforged. I'm currently going through the Scourge campaign. Now, Arthas is on his way to Northrend after being saved by Kilthas, or not by Kilthas, sorry, by Kel'Thuzad in the previous episode from the trap that Sylvanas has laid. Chapter 4, The Return to Northrend. Three weeks later, King Arthas' ragged fleet drops anchor off the icy southern coasts of Northrend. Northrend. It feels like a lifetime since I was last here. Something out there is threatening the Lich King. We must reach Ice Crown quickly. My King, we'll need to establish a base here first. But this island is nearly devoid of resources. What the? They look like High Elves. What are they doing here? Prince Arthas, we are the Blood Elves. We have sworn to avenge the ghost of Quel'Thalas. This dead land will be cleansed. Northrend belongs to the Scourge, Elf. You made a terrible mistake by coming here. Slay them! Onward for the Scourge. Slay them in Ner'zhul's name. Indubitably, there he is! The... Stop swearing, Arthas, jeez. Well, close to it, anyway. Thanks for the assistance, Mighty One. The Lich King sent me to aid you, Death Knight. I am Anubarak, ancient king of Ajol Narub. I welcome your aid, Anubarak, but we have little time for pleasantries. We must reach Ice Crown immediately. Alrighty, so good old Anubarak. Oh, badass character for sure. He's currently level three. What is it now? He serves they only the frozen throne. Okay. around here somewhere. So Arthas, should I actually even get Death Coil? Unholy Aura is really nice. I think, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the unholy, uh, the unholy aura there instead. Anyways, uh, he's currently level 7, Anubarak currently level 3. Destroy the Blood Elf's Island Stronghold. Alrighty, so here we are. I do have some boats that I can still use. A frigate over here as well, a battleship. And these over here are transport ships. Do have a little bit of money too. Oh, Crypt Fiends are now basically like roaches. Or roaches, I guess, are basically like crit feeds and, you know, SC2 roaches, that is. They can now go ahead and burrow on the ground, which is awesome. Speak, fool. You guys are gonna be part of Hotkey 2, I guess? Yeah, you guys are gonna be Hotkey 1, Hotkey 2, Hotkey 3. And then we'll get exploring. So here we are back once again on the beautiful island of Northrend. Um, I'm already going the wrong way. Excellent. Um... Now, obviously, as we know from World of Warcraft, this entire island is not just ice. Tread lightly. Although there are some ice trolls over here right now. The restless, no one so, he's got some good abilities here as well. Spiked Carapace enhances the Crypt Lord's chitinous armor with organic barbs, giving him additional bonus armor and returning 15% of melee attack damage to enemies, okay? He's got Carry on Beetles and then also Impale. Impale really is his classical abilities, and, or one of his uh, classic abilities, I guess. That most people will know him for. It's pretty strong. Ooh, there's a polar bear over there. Don't kill the polar bear, man! Polar bears are already, like, not doing so well. Okay, well. Indubitably. Hey, what? Who made that? Did the ice trolls do that? <laughs> or was it the polar bear? Polar bears, I don't know if they can do that, but... Anyways, uh, I guess we fight him. It's a little bit sad, but I'm sorry, polar bears. What is it now? Oh no! No one orders me around. Here's your fun fact for the day. In Dutch, the language that I speak, they're called ice bears, rather than polar bears. There you go. I know. Nobody needed to know that, but it's one of the most common mistakes that Dutch people make. They don't call them polar bears, but they call them ice bears. No one orders me around. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. We'll just keep exploring, I suppose. Um, you guys can come along as well if you want to. What's this? 
No one orders me. Bunch of the Tusker as well. I know that these were at some point rumored to become playable races in World of Warcraft. Why is there a penguin? Dude, that's a huge penguin. All right. Dutch word for penguin? Penguin. <laughs> penguin. Pretty much the same. Pretty much. Not quite. Oh, no. So what do we do with the... Oh, he's got a little baby. He's got a little baby. I don't know what's going on here, but I want to free the little baby. Don't you dare attack them, uh, Arthas. Uh, at last. Do you think he dropped something if I were to kill him? Um, for my own sanity, we'll just make sure that we save. What is it now? <clears throat> no one orders me around. Inventory he does sword. drop an item, dude. That's messed up. I have heard the summons. A ring of superiority. Key. What about the? Oh God. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. I just figured if the big boy was wearing a ring, maybe the small boy was also wearing a ring. Apparently not. What is it now? I made a safe so I could go back, okay? If the big boy also didn't drop anything. What is it now? Um now there's a, a base over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like just rush over there and kill it. I do have a bunch of boats, which is nice. Uh, I could also definitely go ahead and buy some additional boats, but I don't know if I want to waste the money on that. Um, here's the strat. I think we just load everyone into a boat, and then we unload them on the other side, and we try and not die. Speak. Good strat, right? Tread lightly. So these can't carry anything. Speak, fool. The dead shall serve. Didn't I have two? Oh yeah, I had two. What was I gonna say? Um. Carry on beetles do take up a little slot, but they are on. Wait, are they on a timer? I actually thought they were on a timer, but aren't they? Oh no, they aren't. All right, cool. So that's the little things that uh, Anubarak summons. Come over here, little boys. Maybe one of these used to be a penguin. Maybe both of them, both of them used to be a polar bear and a penguin right over here, man. They look a little bit different these days. Hmm. Okay, so I guess. We just YOLO to the other side? This is a really bad idea. Hmm, not as bad an idea as I thought, actually. So these battleships are actually really powerful. Okay, good. Get rid of the human or the blood elves, whatever. Blood elves, humans. They're all disgusting. Ugh. Get rid of them. Okay, Anubarak, go ahead. You guys, target fire down that pillar over there, please. Don't have a lot of mana, which is fine. No one orders me around. We'll try and see if we can overwhelm that. You guys, continue fighting over here, please. Oh, I thought it was for a second. Arthas' health. Not quite the case. We can go ahead and use his res ability. Get a little bit of additional damage in. I think I could have kept a little bit more alive if I was just a little bit more... ...careful with my, um... ...with my micro there. And maybe a little bit more on point with the death coil, but... ...I think this is okay. Alrighty. So. You guys go ahead and target fire down whatever we can, and then hopefully we can find ourselves a tiny castle. Is that a thing? I don't think there's any tiny castles in this game mode. A tiny uh, graveyard, or a tiny whatever. <laughs> you know, like we have from the human campaign. You go ahead and have a look. What's inside of these barrels? There must be something exciting. There's more barrels up north. Man, look at the amount of barrels here. What is this? Okay. Is so there's a scroll of mana. Man, there's so many barrels! Alright, just target all of them. You go ahead and pick up the scroll of mana. And, um... See, the problem is I don't have anyone to actually start up anything with. Like, I have no... No acolytes. Alright, there's a Tome of Intelligence. 
Do I gift that to Anubarak or do I gift that to Arthas? Because I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, like Arthas keeps leveling down here. Um. Speak, fool. Yeah, they're both strength heroes. What is it now? You go out and pick it up, Arthas. Don't really care. Alright, so that's the human settlement down. Main quest complete, there we go. Easy. <laughs> no, I don't think that was it. I've got a feeling there's more. These elves are pathetic. It's no wonder we destroyed their homeland so easily. Pity I wasn't there to stop you. It's been a long time, Arthas. Prince Kaelthos, I haven't seen you since... You lead these elves? This group, at least. What you faced here was merely a scouting force. Defeating Lord Illidan's army will be far more difficult. Illidan? He's behind this invasion? He is. Our forces are vast, Arthas. Even now they march upon the Ice Crown Glacier. You'll never make it in time to save your precious Lich King. Consider this payment for Quel'Thalas and other insults. Yo, Prince Giltha's with the birds. Make haste, my enemies draw near. Our time is almost spent. Are you well, Death Knight? My powers are weakening, but I'll be all right. He's right. We'll never reach the glacier in time. There is another route we might take, Death Knight. The ancient shattered kingdom of Azul Narub lies deep below us. The Mines of Moria? Though it has fallen on Wait, dark no. times, it could provide us a direct shortcut to the glacier. It's a different universe. We have little choice. Lead on, Anubarak. Man, last time we were here, we picked up that beautiful sword. Wait, where did these all of What? Where did they all of a sudden come from? Speak. All right. Indubitably. Well then. My life for Nezu. That's odd. There's a dragon that lives in the hills nearby. Is his name Smaug? The creature may hold artifacts that could protect us on our march. Art is right now, by the way, level ah, six. At last. Time is fleeting. Indubitably, indeed. I don't know where these uh, acolytes came from. Um, I guess we go ahead and build ourselves a graveyard, and then also I gladly obey. a crypt. I do love myself some Crypt Fiends, not gonna lie. The Crypt Fiends are awesome. Very, very powerful. Pendant of Energy, okay. You go ahead and pick that up. Um... Yeah, so there's a dragon somewhere up north. Fair enough. I don't know if I'm gonna be attacked over here by those Blood Elves, but our goal is to go all the way up north. I did set up at the very least my uh, my ziggurats over here in a way that would hopefully be useful. Um, you're gonna be hotkey three. You're gonna be hotkey four. There we go. Just making crypt fiends is actually not a bad strategy at all, though. We'll go ahead and use the graveyard as well. What else can I make? I can make a slaughterhouse here too, so that's very helpful. Let's go ahead and go tier two then. Yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll go ahead and make a, a slaughterhouse here and maybe add some statues as well. I'm assuming he can do that, I'm not sure. We uh, found out obviously in the previous mission that we could. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these bad boys as well. And we'll cut down the forest. First the polar bears, now the rest of Mother Nature. Can't believe it man, Mother Nature trying to like... Be cool and stuff. Summoning is complete. Um, I could go ahead and do a little bit of scouting I guess. We'll go ahead and get some upgrades here as well. And we'll just look around for a little bit. I guess this leads to open sea over here. That's at least the idea. Yeah, must be. Okay, let's have a look over here. Maybe I can't really continue that much. So tier 2 will allow us to start up the slaughterhouse. Don't know if we're gonna be attacked, but just in case I guess I can get a couple slowing towers. They're very helpful. Seismic tremors. What tortures this land? Hmm. I could definitely buy more boats, though. I don't know if I'm gonna need to. I think I'm on a bit of an island. Maybe we should go ahead and explore right here on the left-hand side as well. We'll go ahead and start up a couple of crypt fiends. Undead, by the way, extremely cost-efficient when you run only 50 food. There's another one of these shipyards, yeah. So I am indeed on an island. 
This has got to always be a little bit triggering, because uh, I remember the last time we needed to go on boats. Research Let's just say that the boat AI, the artificial intelligence for the boats in general, is not the smartest. Um, <clears throat> I do have a couple of them, so... Did I lose one of my ships, actually? I may have lost one of the battleships. I thought I had two battleships here at the earlier part of the game, but that's okay. What is it now? So we can go... I don't know. Probably about that amount should be fine. And in the meantime... Wow. Oh, wow, this thing is insane! Seven... Oh, yeah, they do a lot of damage. Awesome. Hey, by the way, we should save. I haven't done that in a while. Ooh. Oh, it's... Speed wait, Naga? Oh, snap. Okay. What is it now? Tread lightly. By snake men. <laughs> Who the hell are they? Snake men, sorry, not Naga. I've never seen their like in Northrend before. I meant snake men. My life for Nezul. Research complete. No one orders me around. What did I say? I called them somewhere like I don't know. No one orders me around. They're called snake men, clearly. What is it? Um, now, I do want to obviously make sure that we do the bonus objective, because that might be fun. Ah. Okay, so I would like to get some more of these battleships. The battleships are pretty sweet. There we go. They were very expensive, though. I just realized I spent like a thousand gold on that. That's alright. They're good in boat versus boat battles. Gotta be careful I don't go too ham, though. So obviously they can just simply, like, cross the waters very easily. Uh, I'll probably need my transport ships as well. Yeah, I kind of want to stay on a pretty small amount of supply for the time being, I think. I don't want to go too ham until I can, like, you know, confidently rank up. I wonder if maybe I should have made another one of these towers. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this one as well to a spirit tower. Okay. So, I need a Tomb of Relics. Oh, I forgot about that one. So, that's the shop. There we go. Um, we'll probably need at least another meat wagon. That would make a, a grand total of three. And I'd also like to go ahead and make a Altar of Darkness here. Can I fit that in here? Nice. To, uh, to go up to tier three. Yeah, so, we absolutely smash those boats. Can you guys go ahead and have a look here on the left? Oh, wow. Upgrade complete. So that's the Blood Elves right over here. I ended up losing the frigate. Tread lightly. Our forces are under attack. No one Whoa. Oh, they're also attacking us at the same time. Alright, I wasn't sure. I thought they were all busy attacking Ice Crown or something. Speak, fool. What is it now? Okay. No one orders me around. Yeah, so let's upgrade some more towers. Seems like a good enough idea. Okay, all my ships are still alive. Can I repair those maybe with an acolyte? I think I might be able to do that. That would be real nice. Alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and pick up... One of those potions for you. Now let's go ahead and start up some obsidian statues as well. Alright, so you're a hotkey 4, you're a hotkey 5. We can definitely go ahead and go tier 3 here as well. There we go. And maybe get... No, I already have 3, it should be enough, but... Eh, we can go ahead and add a 4th one for now. What is it now? So can you be repaired? Yeah, they can be repaired. Awesome. I wasn't sure about that, so they can be repaired right here by an acolyte. Um, we'll stay around on this amount of food for quite some time, I think. So this is going to bring me up to 50, and that'll be enough. So this is going to be our more reliable source of mana region and, and health region. This is a very nice little army composition, though. I don't mind this at all. Kind of wish I put one of those, um, I wish only to one of those uh, towers a little bit further back. Let's just go ahead and actually upgrade one more over here. Like, it seems like a good spot to have an additional tower. Honestly, though, like, breaking undead in general in this game is super hard. Like, undead is very, very, very sustainable. Because of all the towers and because of the fact that, like, you're fighting on Blight and because of the fact that the actual Citadel itself also, uh, they shoot and it just, yeah, it hurts. Alright, so, 
Um, <clears throat> we could definitely go ahead and wait here for a little bit until like the next attack wave comes in, which no may very well be right now. Around. That's right, Lee. We'll go ahead and head up north. So you can just hang out over here and be auto restoring all of these boats, please. I think this should be our uh, our line of defense quite nicely. No one me around. And I want to uh, I want to go and see if I can fight a dragon. Did I get? Yeah, I did get the webbing, so that's good. Would be pretty much impossible otherwise. Okay, so you guys just hold position over here. Very nice. Oh no, not these things again! What is it now? Ah crap! I did not forget these stupid things. I've got a cute old PTSD, I guess. Oh, come on. No one orders me around. Speak, fool. I don't know if I'm gonna lose any of the. Yeah, I already lost one of the big boys. Speak, fool. No one orders me around. Upgrade complete. The DPS on these things is absolutely insane. At least he leveled up. We'll get more carry on beetles. I'm assuming though Undead has a bit of an easier time dealing with it because the units are just beefier in general. Alright. Come out of the forest! What is it now? Speak, fool. Actually, yeah, let's not. Let's just get upgrades for now and then we'll go from there. No one orders me around. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming the actual dragon is bigger than that one. This is more like it. The damned stand ready. No one orders me around. You go ahead and auto repair these boats. And then we'll try and go from there. Alright, 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 alright. Attempt number two. So you basically want to make sure that you stop command or hold position these actual obsidian statues, because otherwise, otherwise they derp around. What is it now? I don't see this guy doing anything, though. I don't see it using its little ability. I don't know. I guess there's not a lot of mana to restore, but... That was a little bit. Ooh, a Sobi mask? Nice. Okay, you guys go ahead and use that. There you go. Okay. Ooh, that's a big boy dragon. This might be a problem. Are my towers alone gonna be enough? There we go. Level 10 dragon. And there's gonna be an even bigger dragon back there, though. Are we okay? Where I think I'm okay. Whew. No one orders me. So we ended up losing very little there, which is kind of funny. No one Expected I would lose quite a bit, but uh, I wish well, I lost one boat again. <laughs> Speak, fool. All right, that's okay. Okay, big boy dragon, you're up next. I will go ahead and build. Master. I cannot summon yes, master. Until a hundred food, and then we'll go from there. My life for what is it now? All right. So he did drop something. I don't actually see what it was. Um, honestly, I don't really need my uh, my healing selves. A scroll of protection. Eh. Summoning is complete. We can use it, and then you know, kinky. kinky. <laughs> Go from there. Alright, big boy dragon coming up. No one orders me around. You dare enter my lair. I am Saffron, ancient servant of Malagos the Spellweaver. Explain yourselves. Die! Sorry we don't have time to chat, Great Worm. We've come to murder you and steal whatever artifacts you've hoarded over the centuries. 
Honesty. How refreshing. None may challenge Saffron and live. Maybe I should have used res Resurrection on the other dragons. That would have been nice. Is complete. Why is this guy not using his spirit touch? I don't know. Okay, good. We destroy his escort. Go after the other blue dragon right now. He's casting Frost Nova or something like that. Eh, I can lose a couple troops maybe, but that's okay. Can I get a dragon? Uh -huh. I thought maybe I could resurrect a dragon. Not quite. Alrighty, and with that, Sephiroth. Or what was this called? Sephiron, sorry. Sephiroth, <laughs> isn't that from Final Fantasy? I believe so. Horn of the Clouds is dead. That's what I was saying. At least I still have enough power to do this. Most impressive. But you need to conserve your energies, Death Knight. We have a long road ahead of us. He's got charm too? Oof. I have him as part of the team now. There's Horn of the Clouds. What's this thing do? Allows the hero to channel the cloud ability, which stops an enemy tower from attacking for 30 seconds. Ah, great! Another activated item I will never use. Ooh, Lady Vash. I remember you. Go ahead, cast Frost Nova. There it is. So he's like a big frost worm, basically. I bow to your will. Okay, upgrade all of these. Yeah, this is a really powerful army. Awesome. Yeah, this is really good. Um, so the Horn of the Clouds is definitely very useful, but I don't know. You go ahead and pick this one up. I'm actually thinking about upgrading... Anubarak. If I recall correctly, Anubarak is actually gonna be like very strong throughout this this campaign, and Arthas just levels down. So I guess we can give him more strength, but he's gonna. I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. All right. So I got myself a whole bunch of additional things. Maybe I should add the disease cloud as well. How much gold is in this mine? Not a ton. So I would certainly like to make sure that I'm actually making use of this, but maybe I have a, a worse item than that one. Um, plus three attack seems better than plus two. Uh, I don't know. Boots of speed very overrated in the campaign. No one orders me around. All right, so I think it's time for us to attack the uh, the actual base up north. Or at least, you know, one of the two. There's a blue base and then also this one right over here. Get him, Zephyron! If that's even your real name, it could be Sephiroth. Can I? Yep, I can death coil him. Oh, wow, he's a lot of health. <laughs> Didn't realize how much health he actually had. So yeah, I basically got that ability right here that the Dragon Hawk Riders have, but then in an activated item. So I can disable towers. But it also puts the hero in idle, though, I'm assuming, so I don't really know exactly how useful My that would truly be. Either way, let's keep upgrading. And we'll add a couple of these big boys into the mix as well. I will probably need... Thy bidding, master. A couple more uh, boats, though, so I don't, I don't really know. Do I go in this direction? I think I will, yes. So... I will probably have to buy another boat. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I can actually handle it with just this amount. Obviously, Sephiroth can also, uh, you know, just be used as it is. Um, you. I bow to your will. You continue repairing the main base, please. Oh wow! Did I really make this many? Not realizing I had them all. Nice. Speak, fool. Speak. So, yeah, let's build up to like 80 food then, right? Research complete. And then we'll uh we'll move on over. 
I don't know if I'm going to need another one of these battleships or anything like that. I might need another transport ship, though. Time is fleeting. Indubitably. So, it seems like the red base is over here in the bottom left-hand corner, and then the blue base is in the top left. Don't know if I need to even kill the red one, but most of the time it seems like a good idea to, at the very least, you know, go ahead and do so. I guess we make one more. There we go. Okay. Tread lightly. So we're almost here, maxed out on 80 food, which is real nice. You guys can stick around here inside of the main base. Keep repairing. Where Little acolyte. I could get a uh, town scroll, or what's it called? Like a, a scroll of town portal, but I don't know. I'm kind of lazy. I'd rather, I'd rather just reload. <laughs> Maybe that's not the way it's supposed to work, though. No one orders um, around. You go ahead. Alrighty, so this is 80 food right here. So, pretty good little setup for us. Um, I'm saving a lot today. Maybe a little bit excessively, but... This is more like it. Now comes the real task of getting these dudes into boats. As we all know, they're kind of dumb. Come on, guys! Yeah, the boat AI is super painful. Now I just hope that we're not gonna be up. Okay, yes, of course we are. Oh, there's actually- Whoa, they replaced the boats over here. Okay, this is bad. Good thing we saved. So, getting dudes inside of boats in this game is surprisingly painful. I don't know what they've done with the artificial intelligence there, but it's- It's not particularly smart. Let's just leave it at that. Are you gonna load game? Thank you. Frostborn hungers. I also need to move this battleship and buy a bunch more battleships. Because a little birdie told me that apparently there might be uh, a small little push heading towards my base. I wonder how I know this. Master, make your choice. Speak. Um, so I guess we'll buy a couple more battleships here in a little bit. Artis, can you go and pick them up? Speak, fool. This is how long it took, though, to get my dudes into the boat. <laughs> Great. Nicely done. I wish Chefferon was F3, that'd be nice. So wait, what's this ability by the way? Uh resistant skin. Ah, cool. Speak fool. So there's gonna be a bunch of boats over there. I did lose a few of my boats, apparently they replaced them. Do I buy two more of these? They just appeared. This is more like it. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Alright. So, I think this is, by the way, a good moment for us to, uh, to move. Because, I mean, we just had a nice little defense. Zephyron, you can help out as well. Big dragon boy. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, he's real strong. Oh my god, he's amazing against boats. By the way, if I lose one of these boats, I lose all the troops inside of it as well, because no one knows how to swim in this in this world. Um, do you think I can go over here? Wow, I didn't even need to really kill them. So wait, can I even kill the base in the bottom left? I guess not. My life Okay. Our forces are under attack. So far so good though. 
I did lose quite a few troops, but nothing too terrifying. There we go. Get some Naga forces. Nice. Okay. Get rid of this Naga base. Uh, sadly couldn't get that back in time. Aha! So did I just destroy this? Another earthquake. This can't be good. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, snap! The boats can actually go all the way over here? Oh, we destroyed the area up there. Okay. Good. Mm, let's back off. Zephyron, can you go help out? Can they even shoot up? Oh no, they can't. I don't think they can. Oh. Very nice. Let's go ahead and build some more troops over at home. But I think we're doing a pretty nice job right now getting rid of most of this. Why are you guys not healing? Okay, well, I'll switch them over. Because one of them was a little bit low right now. Okay, you guys head over in this direction as well. What is it now? Um, this is a very large base, by the way. I don't necessarily need to fight it all at once. But once this base is gone, I suppose we can continue mining in this area, which is real nice. Yeah, this is good. You guys head back here, please. So we can, uh, hopefully ferry over a couple of additional units. Maybe move some of my acolytes. Um, I did have one extra acolyte somewhere. I wait I'm not sure. Well, that my base is almost empty. But it looks like we have successfully overwhelmed this area. Nicely done. Cool. So there is something down below here as well, by the way. So we'll need to go ahead and make sure that we check that out. Okay, good. Summon more awesome. Alrighty. So, not the cleanest engagement, but it'll do the trick. We cannot take control of this mine over here, too. Tread lightly. You go ahead and give him a death coil on his way up north. Very powerful unit composition, though, in general. There you go. Look at the dragon going to town. Gotta, gotta hand it to these archers, though. Like, these archers definitely brave. Our forces are under attack. I wish only to serve. There we go. There's not a mine up here, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. I bow to your will. Uh, go ahead and have a look. You head back there, and then we'll add on... Summon more ziggurats. Oh. Where shall my blood be? A ziggurat or two first. But we'll add on a couple more of the acolytes. So hopefully we can mine in these two bases over here as well. It's gonna take him a little bit of time to kill all of this, but it's okay. Where shall my blood be so good timing actually for me. Ooh. Speak, fool. They're ferrying units in here. What is it now? Good. Very nice. 
So there was a big drop coming in from this side, so maybe I should be making some static defenses in this area, I'm not sure, but... So we're currently on our last little bit of gold over here. I wish only to serve. I gladly obey. And we might want to have a look in the bottom left hand corner as well. No one orders me All right, so pretty, um, pretty good situation for us to be in right now, though. Let's actually just get the last little bit of gold out of that mine, and then we'll go from there. So you can start mining over here. Very nice. And while I don't really have my production over here, I could definitely make some structures to make it easier on myself. Alternatively, I can just ferry units across. Not that big of a deal, but... Alright, so we'll make 10 acolytes. What is it now? And get those all ready to head on this over in this direction. Like if you could actually go ahead and repair. That would be very, very helpful. Don't know if they're going to be fighting up here. Like, if they also fight up here, that would be a little bit more tricky, but... Where shall my blood be For now, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So this base is almost mined out. More gold is required. Ooh, do I have my... Um, I do have a couple of ghouls here. The damned Not a ton ready. of trees, but... Um, I have heard the Acolyte boy, can you make a graveyard off Blight? No, you can't. So maybe I should just go ahead and make a, uh, a necropolis. Thy will be done. Oh, wow. Is there, like, an area with trees yes, that we can... Master. I guess this will do. My fate is sealed. There's a bunch of trees over there, too, but... Okay, we'll make an, uh, an Acropolis Lord in this spot. It's a little bit of a strange spot, but... There we go. Yes, master. This should uh, allow me at the very least to send my, uh, my ghouls to cut down this little forest over here. Where are the ghouls? Oh, they're over here. Okay. Cool. You guys, get into the boat. Can you all fit, actually? I'm not sure if you can all fit. Yeah, perfectly. Five of you head out over here, and then five of you go out into the center. I bow to your will. And that should take care of most of that. Proceed. Um, Alright, so pretty happy with this scenario as it is. I don't need a ton of lumber, but maybe two additional ghouls would not be bad. Maybe actually we want to rally over here instead. That way uh, I can put my boats in a slightly closer by position. The time is now. I had another one of these boats somewhere, but... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's so close, but yet so far. Alright, um... One too many. Alright. So that should improve my income here quite a bit. Wish only to serve. Very nice. I gladly obey. Actually, I don't need this. We're gonna already get up to a hundred food here. Thy will be done. Just with this one necropolis. All right. So that means we can continue harvesting here. Um. Yep. So pretty nice setup. Let's go ahead and put all of you guys in the boat as well, and then we'll ferry you. To the other coast. I don't know if they're still going to be attacking my main base. Is I hope not. There we go. You can uh, continue mining over there too. Okay, so here we go. We're once again stable. We're getting a whole lot of income. We could go ahead and... Uh, actually, I was going to say like maybe I can go to the other side here already. But I think I have to go through the base in the bottom. Maybe Saffron can have a bit of a peek over there. Can you fly over this area? Even you can't? Oh wow, they are still attacking my base. Um. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for, to be honest. I could just go ahead and abandon my main base, though. Is that a bad idea? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, let's just go ahead and save. I don't think I necessarily care so much anymore about my main base. Town is under attack. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we have the hotkeys set up properly again, though, because everything is a bit of a mess no right now. Me around. Okay, you guys are hotkey one. Come over here. Uh, actually... Lightly. Our town is uh, under attack. Saffron, you're also hotkey one. You're basically a hero unit. Yeah, we're still doing pretty well over here. Maybe add one... One little bro. I lost one of my towers there, but we'll add one little bro over there to make things a little bit easier. Your hotkey two. Together with him. And together with these. Okay, cool. now? And that should already make this a little bit better for us. I have a few transport ships. Tread lightly. Um, now, I could technically just no take a left turn over here out. and be fine. Or over here, rather, and be fine. I could also go down south, Speak, which I kind of like the idea of. There we go. These trees are not going to last very long, but... It's okay. I bow to your will. Um, you join up together with your is it now? broats. <laughs> sorry, sorry, a bit of a stretch. With your bro boats. Now let's go ahead and get rid of these frigates. Speak, fool. Good. So they're kind of YOLOing units in right now. Oh god, this is the full... There we go. That is the full dropship. So that's real nice. I could definitely go into high upkeep, to be honest, right now. I will re-rally over here, because apparently they're being a little bit of a pain in the butt when it comes to this kind of stuff. Still a bunch of units have made their way across, but I think I might just be able to, like, put everyone in a boat. And then we'll go from there. We'll just run everyone into the uh, location there. Sephiron, man, look at this guy. He's murdering everything by himself. What a guy. Maybe there's some value to be gained over here in this area of the world, too. Good. So this is the main base right here of the Blood Elves. Remember me, Kaltuza or Kilthus, whatever your name is? We were friends once upon a time. Alrighty. So let's see if we can maybe overwhelm this base over here then too. Good. Who's attacking my main? Bunch of other elves. Okay, we'll wait over here. Yes, my friend. I thirst for magic. Okay. Really? They're just gonna walk past this right now? Interesting. Alright, well, we'll try and just overwhelm this. I thought they were gonna continue fighting my main, but apparently they've decided to just go around instead. Good. No one orders me around. I Our forces are under attack. Mm -mm -mm. 
Any other towers here that need killing? There are a bunch. We'll send Sephron on the task. The guy is insane. Or the girl. I don't know. The bro. The brogan. Alright, so this is gonna take a little bit of time before everything is killed, but I think it will do the job. Do you hit anything? Summoning is complete. Oh yeah, you guys can. Nice. No one orders me Summon around is complete. Are under yeah, so all of this will take a little while to clean up, but at the very least that's gonna prevent, I think, any counterattacks towards my base. Not entirely sure if we're gonna get any actual value out of killing this, other than like preventing the amount of attacks to my base. That's okay. I don't think we're gonna get anything super fancy here, is what I'm trying to say, but. And there we go, that's gonna be me completely maxed out. I wish only to serve. We'll take control of this gold mine over here too, just because we can. Our forces are under attack. And then the last thing we have to do is go to the mines of My Moria. I believe that's what it's yes, called. Master. Thy will be done. Get him, Acolyte! Smack him! Oh my god, Acolyte DPS is legit! Actually, maybe that was the little... I don't know if that was the things returning or not. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is gonna take some time, but I guess eventually everything will fall. I don't have a whole lot of siege weapons here anymore because the AI always target fires down first. Uh, any siege weapons that you might have, but... What is it now? I wish only to serve. This is very nice. Um... I need you guys to go over here. Hey, look, we found them. They were just waiting here? That's so odd. Why were they just waiting here? <laughs> I guess they were attack moved or something in this location and then they didn't see anything, so they just walked by it. It's kind of funny how that worked. Okay, good. There we are. And that should allow me to take control of this nice section of the world too. Not sure exactly where they uh, got all their lumber from, but... Boat micro. Here it is. Top tier. Alrighty. It's not been that long since we last played with Kiltas and the Blood Elves and all that, and we were friends and... All of a sudden, things are a little bit different now. They're trying to uh, to kill the Lich King. We're trying to help the Lich King. Alright, so we'll regroup right over here with that big arc. And we'll, uh, we'll head on over in that direction. That will probably spiral up north. I'm kind of curious though, is there something up here? Speak, fool. What's over here? <gasps> Dude! A massive penguin! How do we get over there? Wait, what? Can you go around it? Oh yeah, you can! What? Where does this come from though? How do you get over there? Oh, snap, okay. I just... Seismic tremors. What tortures this land? I just killed that. I think we gotta go south. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll go ahead and kill the king penguin, I guess. Isn't that a type of penguin? I don't know. Alright, everyone get over here, please. Get into a boat. I know it's hard. I bow to your will. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, you drop off over there. Make your choice. Well, I have another gold mine. I have nowhere to actually... I have no, no acolytes rudder to send in there. Okay, so the boats, you guys can hang out over here. It's time for us to move forward. I don't know if everyone here is on a hotkey. I think most people, or most of my units are. Boats are in charge of defending that, I suppose. Oh god. There is an awful lot of stuff over here, but... Good. 
This is a really nice setup. Okay, onto the penguin we march. Oof. Speak. Hello. Good. There's some crazy stunning going on over here. Rune of mana, okay. No one orders me around. Speak. Where is he? <laughs> Kill the polar bears. We don't care anymore. Okay, I do care, but What is it now? I want to see what the what the, the penguin no has to offer. Me. I was wondering what this entire bottom left and section of the minimap was for. What is it now? No one orders me around. An icy Speak, gate. Fool. Wait, what? What? He's invulnerable. That is hilarious. He actually also made himself a snowman. Does something happen if I click on him a million times? Sometimes things explode in this game, okay, when you repeatedly click on them. Not that I want to see a penguin explode. I'm not that much of a masochist, but now I have to try. You guys know what I mean, right? You're all video game players. No, nothing happens. Tread lightly. Nothing happens. Um. What is it now? I speak, fool. You guys make a little bit of room right here for Arthas. I will be a bro right there to. Uh, this is more like it. To the penguin boy, okay. Uh, penguin. At last. I don't want to be a jerk, so you get the claws of attack. I'll pick up like the it. ring of protection. Thank you, buddy. Enjoy. Frostmorn hungers. He's a real good guy. Finally. No one orders me Thy around, bidding, master. Trend Alrighty. So I don't really see exactly what could go no wrong at this point. Knock on wood. Um Speak, fool. Things are looking pretty good is what I'm trying to say. Last. What is it now? These are Nerubians, man. Aren't those your kin, Anumarak? Are you sure you want to kill those, bro? Man, I've got a lot of stuff. By the way, he's finally regening mana right now, which is nice. Fountain of Health over here. All right. I'm taking it much slower right now, by the way, as you may have noticed, um, compared to like some of the previous episodes. No one orders me it's just that uh, the missions are becoming more and more tricky, especially when you're playing too slow. Oof. I'm also saving a little bit more often because of that very reason. Um, it's just easy to mess up right now. Like, the campaign is not easy anymore. Tread lightly. If we could get these boys in front, that'd be great. Come on, boys. Why are you guys trying to walk through this, idiot? Come over here. Oh, it's because for some reason I've locked you guys in. I was just thinking it might be fun to have you guys in front here for the fight. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. 1A, 2A, 3A. Go. Oh, no. Saffron! Don't die! Can you still cast spells from that skill? Yeah, you can still cast some spells. Yeah, so we're not really losing a whole lot. My couple of statues here in the back are helping out a ton as well. Like, they must have been the MVPs of all these battles. The healers, man. Alrighty, so... I guess he's the ancient king of Ashul Narub, but no one orders me around. The people don't respect him as much anymore. Is it now? My biggest uh, enemy at this point is 
the artificial intelligence that's trying to keep things organized here. Good. Man, they really don't like Sephiroth very much. They keep like putting him to the ground. There might be some more dragons up there. That's pretty sick. Good. Oh man, you can notice the additional armor right there on Arthas. Yeah, he's got now 6 plus 6 armor. That's pretty insane. Defensive items on melee heroes are insanely good in this game. I found that out very quick. Oh, sorry, Blue Drake. Okay. Saffron himself using his mana quite liberally. We gotta destroy these structures as well. Kinda difficult to spot the gray health bars, but... There we go. It's being taken care of here eventually. I've still not lost any supply. Tread lightly. Big boys in the front. And even though I still don't know where the acolytes came from in the earlier part of the mission, this is, is going now? quite well. Speak, fool. Finally. No one orders me around. Alrighty. No one orders me around. Speak, fool. Very nice. I think I can finish this without losing any units. I think I might be able to. Level 15. Okay, I was just thinking maybe he dropped a good item, but that's not the case. And just like that, we broke through. You're certain we can reach the glacier through these tunnels? Nothing is certain, Death Knight. The ruins will be perilous, but it's worth the risk. All right. Let's go. Alright, so nice. Hopefully that's gonna make things a little bit easier for us when it comes to actually trying to reach the Lich King. And there we have it! The beautiful victory music of the undead once again in our headphones or speakers or whatever. We've completed the mission, a return to Northrend on the hard difficulty, relatively smoothly actually. That was nice. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified as soon as future videos go live. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Have an, uh, have, have an amazing day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you once again in the next one.